Once upon a time, there was a young monk named Sato who lived in a small monastery. He was a dedicated practitioner of Zen and spent most of his time meditating. One day, the abbot of the monastery decided to test Sato's understanding of Zen. He asked Sato to plant a cherry tree in the monastery garden and nurture it until it bore fruit. Sato accepted the task with enthusiasm. He found a healthy sapling, planted it in a sunny spot, and watered it every day. However, he was so anxious about the tree bearing fruit that he couldn't focus on his meditation. He was constantly checking the tree, worrying about its growth, and getting frustrated when he didn't see any cherries. Seeing this, the abbot called Sato and said, You are too attached to the outcome. You are so focused on the fruit that you are forgetting to take care of the tree. Remember, the fruit is just a result, not the purpose. The purpose is to take care of the tree. Sato understood the abbot's words. He started focusing on nurturing the tree without worrying about the fruit. He watered the tree, protected it from pests, and ensured it got enough sunlight. He did all this not because he wanted the tree to bear fruit, but because he cared for the tree. As he shifted his focus from the result to the process, Sato found that he could meditate with ease. He was no longer anxious or frustrated. He was at peace. And then, one spring morning, Sato saw the first cherry blossoms on the tree. The tree had borne fruit, not because Sato had been anxiously waiting for it, but because he had taken good care of it. The abbot smiled at Sato and said, This is Zen. When you focus on the task at hand and not on the result, you will find peace. And often, the result takes care of itself. Imagine your Sato, the young monk in the story. You're not planting a tree, but you're working on a project, studying for an exam, or striving to achieve a personal goal. The cherry tree is a symbol of your goal. Now think about how Sato was initially so focused on the cherries that he forgot to take care of the tree. In our lives, we often become so obsessed with the end result that we forget to enjoy the process. We're so eager to pass the exam, finish the project, or reach our goal that we miss out on the learning and growth that happens along the way. Remember how the abbot advised Sato to focus on nurturing the tree. That's a lesson for us to focus on the actions we need to take right now. If you're studying, focus on understanding the material, not just on getting an A. If you're working on a project, concentrate on doing your best work, not just on finishing it. When Sato shifted his focus from the fruit to the tree, he found peace. He was no longer anxious or frustrated. We can experience the same peace when we shift our focus from the outcome to the process. When we're fully engaged in what we're doing, we're not worried about the future. We're living in the present. And what happened when Sato took care of the tree? It bore fruit. Similarly, when we focus on the process, the results will follow. We'll pass the exam, complete the project, achieve our goal. Not because we were anxiously waiting for it, but because we were dedicated to our work. So, the next time you find yourself worrying about the outcome, remember Seto and the cherry tree. Focus on the task at hand, do your best, and let the results take care of themselves. That's the Zen way of achieving anything without focusing on the result. And who knows, you might find that the journey is more rewarding than the destination.